so if you don't if you don't mind, there's some there's some talk that you could be playing some professional pickleball sooner than later. Uh, you wanna you wanna mention anything or like reveal anything or I guess do you have anything uh, in mind? This episode is sponsored by Beamer Therapy. If you guys uh, wanna check out Beamer, a great medical device. I've been using it for a long time now. I sleep on it, I use it morning and night. You can go to my website, TysonMcGuffin.com and see what Beamer's all about. What's going on? My name is Tyson McGuffin. Welcome to the McGuffin Show. Uh, I got a special guest on today. I'll tell you what, this guy is uh, hes a handsome stud. He's got a good looking hat. He's got better teeth than me, damn it. Uh, Jack Sock, how are you, buddy? <laughs> hey, I'm good, I'm good, man. Uh, good to be on here, finally. I've been talking about it for a while, but uh, yeah, appreciate you guys having me. Woo, 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 you had Sammy on here. It had my boy Stevie. Uh, yeah. a, bunch of, a bunch of studs, man, I'll tell you what. Um, but, uh, you, I, third option, I get it. What, you, what now? I was your third tennis option. I get yeah, it. Hey, 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 hey. Uh, I, I will say that I believe you are better than Sam and pickleball. That's for sure. Well, I mean, uh, yeah, no, I'm not, no, no comment there. Uh, <laughs> Sam, Sam's one of my best buddies on tour. Uh, I feel like we've grown, we've grown close, become good friends. Yeah, uh, obviously He's taking that chapter now playing he is. pickleball, and uh, I would say he's he's definitely uh, already improving. I thought he was uh, I thought he was playing great in Vegas a few weeks ago, and I'm excited to watch. I'm definitely going to tune in and watch him uh, this next year play. No, no, for sure. I mean, I'm honestly like I, I played with Sam. Uh, when was that? It was summertime, and the transformation of his game from summertime to what we saw in Vegas it was night and day. Uh, the guy's a yeah. the guy's a total gem. I think he's starting to figure it out. He's dinking a lot better. He's using the using the drive, uh, and he's a he's a newly sponsored, paid Franklin player. <laughs> man, you you came in and got that check. He's big big Franklin guy. Yeah, you know, <laughs> big Franklin guy. And he was first. And he was <laughs> first in the uh, challenger draft. You see that? Yeah, he went. No, I think his uh, I think his showing in Vegas kind of uh, helped his stock a little bit. He went. He went number one. He's forever a number one overall pick. <laughs> Sam A. Oh yeah, my gosh, did. that that night seeing Sam, uh, you know, bet like a, a thousand bucks at the at the blackjack table, getting a massage. I mean, that was the sight. Honestly, I. I, I mean, uh, that's a that's a that's a golden picture. I'm gonna keep for a while. So, uh, <laughs> Rough. It was a rough hand. It was a rough hand for him, but uh, yeah, good times all around. That's for sure. Question is: After a full week of gambling in Vegas, were you in the green or the red? Um, I would say, as a unit between my wife and I, we were probably we were in the green. Um, yeah, I think we, I think she think we were slightly in the green. By the time we cashed out, we actually found a few chips in her purse after we had flown out. We did the same uh, thing. <laughs> we flew out, which is the worst, but. Uh, yeah, I think we were we were slightly above we were slightly above even. I think uh, for, by the time we left. Hey, stay away from that loser line, right? Yeah, no, you can't hit the loser line. You can't, you can't hit the loser. Hey, tell tell the fans and the viewers and the listeners here what it what it, that uh, loser line is. Uh, it's that rough. It's that rough walk. You know, and you're at the table <laughs> and you put down your last few bills and now those are gone and, uh, <laughs> and now you're having to stand. You say, "Excuse me, from the table. Let me go hit the uh, loser line." <laughs> The, uh, what they call the ATM, put the card in. Uh, usually, you got to wait a few people back, so that's what we call the loser line. Head right, head right back over and donate it back to the. You know uh, it, you know it, baby, you know oh, it. Uh, but honestly, man, it was it was so cool meeting you over the weekend. Um, you know, getting getting to hang out with your princess Laura, uh, meeting your coach Nick. You know, Cole, Courtney. Um, you guys, you guys are a fun bunch. So, uh, been yeah, been time. looking forward to to spending some time with you and it was uh uh it was a great weekend that's for sure so yeah um, it was a blast i didn't want it to end but uh, it was great to meet you and the whole squad as well kids on the last day uh cute as can be so yeah the whole the whole mcguffin bunch was oh, yeah. uh, it was fun, fun oh, to yeah. meet. um and uh so so if you don't if you don't mind there's some there's some talk that you could be playing some professional pickleball sooner than later uh, you wanna you wanna mention anything or like reveal anything or, or I guess do you have anything uh, in mind? Man, I got I got no I got no uh, I got no announcements. I guess um, I think you'll. Well, 
I could leave it. I think I'll be. I think you'll see. You'll see me dabble. You'll dabble over the next little bit. Um, obviously, tennis is uh, is priority, and and uh, putting in a great off season now, and and uh, feeling good about my tennis game again, and and uh, excited to play uh, this next year, and and um, obviously see how it goes. Um, hopefully, you know, only only get better and, and ranking move up and all that. Um, but uh, I think I could definitely say it. Uh, whenever tennis is uh, is is nearing the end for me, then then pickleball will uh, I'll say will de- most definitely be the next chapter. Good uh, way to put me. it. Uh, Good man. I'm very excited about it. That's for sure. Yeah, yeah. No, and and you're plenty talented. I'll tell you what. Uh, if there's anybody that did not watch this man play in Vegas, uh, it was not 75. percent I'll, I'll tell you what. This guy is this guy is a complete stud. He does a lot of things well. You know, most most players that come in that have a racket sport background, they have good hands and they can play. They can play that hard style game, um, but they don't have a soft game. And something that Jack has is that he has buttery hands and he can block all day, can dink all day. I'll tell you what, the guy is a force to be reckoned with. So watch out. Mick Sock, maybe in 2024. I'm, I'm just going gonna to throw it out there. Um, Mick Sock at some point, that's for sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You, you uh, know it. Okay. So uh, tell us your story, man. Tell us how you got started, where you're from, and uh, give us a scoop. Yeah. I. Uh... I see. Yeah, from from the Midwest, born in Lincoln, Nebraska. Uh, family grew up there until I was about ten years old. Um, for about a year, when we were in Nebraska, we would drive down to Kansas City every weekend. My mom, my brother, and I uh, we go to uh, an academy, Mike Wolf Tennis Academy in Kansas City. It was kind of the only place uh, near us uh, that that had any sort of tennis program. So uh, I started going there for a year. Uh, ended up being in love with it, obsessed with the sport. Uh, Mom, brother, and I moved moved over full time to Kansas City. My dad had to stay behind in Lincoln, um, and it's still there for work. So that was a different sort of dynamic for the family and, and childhood growing up. But uh, we made it work. Uh, they obviously sacrificed um, a tremendous amount uh, being apart from my brother and I to play tennis. Um, yeah, stayed there through high school. Played high school tennis for four years uh, with my brother as well. And he was two years older. He graduated. Went played at Nebraska. I started playing on tour after high school and and been doing it since yeah since 2011 now so it's gone it's gone fast they say time flies it's it's true um but uh beyond blessed and and fortunate to be able to to have played tennis um this long and and hopefully can keep going you know for however much longer but uh yeah it's been it's been a crazy ride for sure um been a crazy ride and and now in charlotte uh reside here on the east coast so um yeah just travel and play tennis and uh enjoy being home when i can love it love it yeah no man i mean i can't tell you how many times i've heard that parents having to sacrifice or or just athletes in general having to sacrifice time like away from their families or families having to sacrifice uh in order to really get to a level that you can make money or just to get to a spot in life that uh makes you successful you know um yeah uh, definitely, definitely goes a long ways. I know, like for for my parents, you know, we uh, didn't have a tennis club in the little town that I grew up in, so it was like an hour and a half away. Uh, we had to drive this little area called Leavenworth, and my my dad would drive down there three or four days a week. You know, after after high school, to, you know, drive like an hour and a half down there. I'd, I'd play for two hours and then drive an hour and a half back. I do schoolwork at like nine o'clock at night, but uh, yeah, in order to get to a certain level, it takes sacrifice. You know. Yeah, hundred percent. I think, uh, and I probably did it in an unconventional way of, of going to school and, and staying kind of in a in a public school and playing high school tennis. And had a lot of guys my age that were turning pro early or, or homeschooling and you know traveling the world playing junior international tournaments. Uh, but yeah, I kind of did it a unconventional way, I guess you'd say for that. But yeah. um, happy I I stayed and and uh, kind of did it a you know normal childhood way to a degree, but. Um, yeah, a lot of sacrifice, obviously, uh, massive shout out to my parents or else I definitely wouldn't be here right now. For sure, man. Gotta, gotta love the rents, you know, love yeah, it. Got, come on, got to. come on. Um, so, so tell me, just taking a look at your tennis game, monster serve, monster forehand, uh, neutralize the backhand, like to come in. You have great hands. Obviously you play great doubles. You have some grand slams and dubs. Um, uh, I, I guess growing up, was that always like the storyline? Like, was it always big serving forehand? Um, you know, have you made any changes to your game? Um, I think uh, 
to a degree with the with the serve and forehand when I when I grew a little bit I was actually a uh, scrawny small kid uh, when I was real young and when I started out at Wolf's Academy um, kind of immediately when I got there he started shifting the grip over kind of make it a little more western crank that thing uh, over yeah ter- teach me what topspin was I was a, a low to high uh, low to high finish of the sky type of kid. Uh, <laughs> so I got under his control and, and figured yeah, yeah. out what uh, what turning the ball over was and adding topspin. And kind of from there, it was a feel thing. He always said that he kind of moved my grip over, and then it was just natural for me to kind of place you know place it where I wanted on the grip and yeah. and start swinging fast and uh, closing my eyes and getting lucky and trust the uh, swing. Yeah, trust the swing and uh, big trust, you know and. Uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah, started yeah started developing the serve when I grew mid teens and, and late teens started growing and everything. Obviously, with that comes you know serve power and power in general and and uh, acceleration all that. So um, that's kind of where my game my game went to. Uh, as you said, backhand has never been a strong suit, but it's uh, it's been a neutral. Oh neutral yeah, shot you, can, you can neutralize that thing all day. Yeah, looking for the strengths and. Uh, yeah, kind of, kind of ran with it. Speed, speed on the court, and, and acceleration, and serving forehand has been uh, kind of what I've what I've lived by. And the older you get, unfortunately, your body starts feeling feeling a little worse. Had a few injuries, and uh, so you know may play um, slightly different these days. Even more aggressive at times, shorten up points, and, yeah, exactly. and not as much strain on the body. But right. uh, yeah, I've always felt comfortable coming in. Always played doubles and juniors, and since I've been on tour. Felt very comfortable with the net, movement-wise, covering, trying to read, you know, read shots. But um, yeah, I've had I've had a bat blast playing singles and doubles, and obviously had some good success in doubles. And uh, yeah, I think it translate helps with your singles game for sure, and, and vice versa. So Love yeah. That. So tell me, what was your career high ranking in in dubs and singles? Uh, in singles, I got to eight. Uh, eight in the world at the end of 2017 um, after that crazy run in, in Paris in the year end finals. And then uh, the following year, um, following year, I finished that year in 2018, number two in doubles. So it was a, a career highs. <laughs> come on, come on. Yeah. Love that, man. Uh, and and yeah. tell me, how many how many grand slams and dubs? Uh, in men's doubles, I got Three slams, uh, three slams, and mixed doubles. Uh, one, one slam. Okay, okay. Um, so tell me, do you have a, you have a set partner that you're playing with in 23 in dubs? Uh, not really. I think uh, I. I mean, I've always in my career kind of tend to just play with, play with some buddies, uh, so guys that are close to me, and it kind of makes it more fun. Obviously, when you're out there, you're doing it together, and yeah. a guy you you know well off the court. So I'll probably play definitely play with Isner a few times. Uh, one of my good buddies. Um, Probably play with with Nick Kyrgios a couple times, um, depending on schedules and um, yeah. Outside of that, maybe a couple of the, the U.S. guys, maybe Tommy Paul here and there, and okay. uh, um, yeah, we'll see. Just kind of float around, play with some yeah, play with some friends, and see how we do. Love it, love it. And um, so so Nick's got you back on the grind, got you back working, get all that yucky yeah, stuff remember, out of your yeah, system after Vegas. No yeah, more no, DPS. We, uh, no, nah, yeah, the uh, the diet Pepsi's were, were flowing. Now we uh, yeah we're putting in putting in a good a really good. I've, I've taken an extended off season here. Uh, a lot of people, as you could, I don't know if you follow tennis players on social media, they've all left already. Every yeah. story you see is uh, the long flight down to Oz. Uh, I've chosen not to go down there and uh, continue my off season through January and start up end of January, beginning of February. I'm doing a uh, kind of re. Uh, yeah, revamping the body and and uh, this, a, a diet and, and body testing thing. I'm kind of go through and cool. and uh, change some things up, figure out what's going on uh, with a few things, and yeah, start up uh, start up brand new and fresh in in uh, about a month. Love it, love it. Um, hey, so if you don't if you don't mind for uh, viewers and listeners here, what's what's like a day in the life of Jack when you're at home and you're training? Are you on court two a day? Is he working out in between? I guess how does how does your day go? Yeah, I think it, it varies. Um, I've I've always been a uh, I've always been a fan of you know a lot of you know some guys like to do two day, two days on on tennis and break it up. I I, I enjoy the one longer session, um, kind of getting it in. But yeah, usually yeah waking up wake up in the morning. Um, the gym the gym I go to to train at uh, with with the trainer and and a couple of guys is uh, is down south for me. So waking up going there in the morning getting the uh, session in. A, 
probably about an hour and a half uh, in total and, and come back, uh, you know, rip a shake or have a small small meal after. and then, Rip a shake. Uh, <laughs> rip a shake, have a small meal after, and then, uh, yeah, hit the courts, you know, early midday, early afternoon for about, yeah, probably about three hours, uh, three and some change. Um, yeah. And then maybe do, we usually go in and just do a little quick, uh, I don't even know, quick, you know, another quick bike workout or a little lift or something to kind of uh, finish the day off strong and then yeah. and then have dinner and, and relax, go to sleep and do it again. And uh, we've been doing that for, for a little while now and going to keep it going through January. Day in the life of a champ, man. Love yeah. it. Love it. Is uh, Nikki still with you right now? Uh, no, he's back. He went back for Christmas. Okay. Uh, he'll be back to uh, he'll be back to start the new year. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll get going. We got three and a half, four, yeah, three and a half good weeks, three and a half, four weeks uh, in January to go, and then we'll hit the road. Love it. So, t- so tell me, with uh, like the three and a half weeks you have home, do you fly guys in to play practice matches, or do you and Nick do more so just get stuff done? Uh, we so they have a couple a couple of. Uh, couple of colleges around the uh the davidson guys that we we hit with a lot okay. um that they're 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 ditched down the street here okay. uh, there's actually a junior that's going to south carolina uh who's very good uh local guy that we've been we've been hit with a lot cool, cool. Um, but i think yeah at some point in january we'll probably fly fly a guy or two in um at some point um you know get a variety of players and yeah. uh yeah maybe a tour guy or two depending on who went down you know down under or not right um yeah, get a guy in and play some practice sets, especially closer as it gets to the to the tournaments. Get those reps in. Got it, man. Got it. Yeah, I got some got some bodies here with me right yeah. now. Uh, two guys, <laughs> two guys flew in uh, to come train for a couple weeks. Got Masters coming up in uh, in Palm Springs here, like Jan- yeah. January tenth. Yeah. So, got to get those reps in, baby. You know it. Hey, got to got to get the uh, the tournament style reps. That's for sure. Yeah. Um, okay, so you said you're kind of changing your diet, doing some things differently. Uh, uh, tell me what that dial, or t- t- tell me what that diet diet is like. <clears throat> um, yeah, I mean it's not necessarily like, yeah, I guess diet is is the general or easy word to use for that. It's more uh, I did this extensive body testing um, where they can basically tell you you do different bunch of different between blood and blood, urine, all the, you know, all these different things that yep. you do, uh, saliva. Um, and you, 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 I work with this, worked with this company and, uh, you send it all in. They basically know you, uh, better than you know yourself <laughs> at that point. And, cool, uh, cool. That's awesome. able to tell you what you're, you know, deficient in, yeah. um, down to a T. Yeah. Down to a T and, yeah, and yeah, uh, able to put a program together for you between, uh, food and, and, uh, supplements, all that type of thing. That's and, cool. Love um, that. Yeah, really get you really get you dialed on yourself and and feeling the best you can. Obviously, yeah. that's what it's all about for for myself, for yourself. Yeah. Uh, every time you step on the court, you need to uh, you need to feel good, or else you're not going to perform that well. Doesn't get more defined than that. That's cool. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Um, so uh, tell me, what's what's the goals in tennis in 23? I mean, just to, to kind of pump everything back up, to put yourself, you know, back in a back in a winning position. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think. Uh, it, yeah, just getting. I mean, I think this year was positive in a lot of ways. Had uh, especially the start of the year, had you know had some good results, had some good matches, even some, uh, which is weird to say, even some good losses. Where you know playing some of the top guys in the world, but feeling uh, had definitely had chances. Should have won a couple of yeah, them, and yeah. um, so I know I know the levels there. And it was uh, there was a weird it was a weird year um, in a few different ways, but in general, thought it was uh, thought I progressed progressed pretty well. Um, and yeah, 23, it's just, you know, hopefully, you know, keep moving the ranking up, getting back to, you know, where I think I belong or I think I can play. Um, proving to some of these haters out here that, uh, that I'm still around. I can Prove to them. Prove yeah. to them, Jack. Come on, man. Uh, yeah, no, it's, uh, it, it's, yeah, it's been, it's been a journey for sure. Um, since the injuries and, and, and being unranked and, yeah. and having to work my way back, but um, yeah, I'm going to give it, uh, give it another, another big push, another big go. And, um yeah hopefully a year from now and and uh ha, you know have, have had a, a great a great season and and uh you know back you know back right where i want to be and, and continuing to go yeah so, so I'm, I'm 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 sure you don't you don't receive a lot of shade but i mean how do you deal with some of like the haters on social media or you know i mean is there is there any of that stuff taking place 
Oh uh, yeah, it's it's nonstop. Uh, yeah, every 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 loss is uh, is all the, is all the death threats, all the uh, worst things you can think of to say to people. As I know, it's obviously not just myself, but uh, mm-hmm. most athletes and, and a lot of tennis players. Some people post about it and, and share what they get. Um, I I tend to if I come across it, you know, try to just smile and and uh and keep going um, <laughs> right. it's all you can do right they, they love the they love to flood the comments and uh and and say all the all the worst things all the worst things possible but um it is what it is it comes with comes with the territory we all oh, yeah. we've all read it and, and, and seen it but uh yeah i mean i think you know at this point it's it's more for myself my you know my wife my family and, and team just to yeah, for sure ourselves that um in the work we put in that you know to make like i said make one more one more big push yeah yeah you just got to focus on yourself yeah um okay so it's kind of an odd question but how tell me how many spicy margaritas did, <laughs> did you have saturday night um <laughs> yeah i think i had probably just two or two or three at dinner was uh sufficed and uh rip those things down <laughs> we all got we all we all got our sleep and was ready for uh championship sunday you know i mean come on now come on now team get the uh, dub yeah. so we can so we can be on you know abc yeah we were we were first you know we were first ones in the sheets that night getting ready and i don't know if <laughs> first ones in the sheets. This spot at, uh, one, but we were ready to go we came out with a dub first match exactly and, uh, can't yeah can't say they're all i know is that over the weekend you and i were two and oh yeah Yeah, we 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 were undefeated we never lost undefeated uh tell me have have you and the tennis guys been uh talking a little trash ever since um i mean i i mean not really i mean haven't haven't talked to uh haven't talked to donald since isner uh isner loves to talk about how he was in the finals even though he played no part in that (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> and and unfortunately, one of my only losses on the weekend was to in our first mixed doubles match when Catherine and I were oh, right. uh, out of sorts for you sure. Know, we know, out of sorts. We didn't play our best and and uh, lost to freaking John and 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 Jesse, and he won't let that one go. But um, I think uh, I got a few got enough dubs on him over the weekend and and uh, carried him in that all tennis one. So um, and Sam, I mean Sam is I was just stoked for him to be the first pick in the challenge in the challenger draft. So, yeah, uh, yeah, for I congratulate sure. him there. And, and, uh, yeah. Um, but yeah, I think, I think they, I think they all know, um, deep down that, uh, that they don't want a piece. They don't want a piece of me on the pick. They don't board. want a piece of sock. They don't, <laughs> they don't tell me this. What do you think about, uh, you know, the pickle industry talking highly of your game and more so talking very highly of how you played against Ben and Matt. Yeah, I think um, I didn't realize the the pickleball community. I mean, I knew I mean, it's the fastest growing sport in America and 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 all that, but I didn't realize the social media um, forums. You know, yeah, it's crazy. I, I I've never like I've never I've got the amount of, of you know either follows or likes or messages from every different pickleball uh, handle you could think of on Instagram. <laughs> it's crazy, and uh, it was fun. Honestly, it was a lot of fun because it's something. I mean, for, for me, it's something new, obviously, and, and it's something I'm. I mean, I'm passionate about. I love playing. Um, I love playing the the sport and the game. And um, so for me, and, and I fought and I followed you guys, you know, all you pros for for a while now, and I tuned in to watch. So um, to meet everyone there, and and then to also um, you know play uh, and play well, uh, and kind of get the get the respect, I guess, and acknowledgement. It was it was fun, and it was it was cool, and and. Uh, I think I follow more pickleball things now on Instagram than I do tennis, and and That's it's uh, and it's a joy for me because I love seeing love seeing all the highlights and, and watching the points and, and learning and uh, yeah, it's been uh, it's been a lot of fun, uh, and I'm already excited to you know play play my next event whenever that is. Um, but yeah, I think I think Sam and I definitely showed a lot in that match with 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 Ben and Matt. Um, no matter what percentage they were they were playing at. <laughs> yeah. I, I I figured that may be brought up. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I think uh, yeah, I think we you know, we showed that that we can play and, no, for, and sure. Uh, for sure. Yeah, like I said, I'm I'm excited to uh, to to show it again whenever whenever I can play. You know it. You know it. Hey, tell um, tell us about the uh, Labor Cup party this year. Oh man, Labor Labor Cup as a whole was crazy. Um, 
yeah, it was it was bittersweet. I think as I've as I've told everyone, it was uh, it was weird playing against Roger, obviously in his last match, and then winning the match, uh, and then winning you know the event for the weekend. Um, it was all it was all kind of it was just crazy. Um, it was my birthday weekend. It was there was a lot of stuff going on, and um, but yeah, we we all definitely. Everyone involved in the event enjoyed enjoyed the last night, uh, especially I think with <laughs> Roger hosting a a fun get together at the hotel and and um, Lo, you know yeah. low key yeah. get together low, right very low, low key, key. <laughs> uh, low key uh, you know uh, event space of the of the hotel up top. <laughs> uh, yeah it was a it was fun it was a, it was a you know open bar and they had food and and uh, they had obviously had music going and and I think. I think Roger's mom was out there dancing. Johnny Mac was out there dancing. We That's had so awesome. uh, maybe even on a table. Uh, we had everyone. Everyone was dancing. Everyone was having a good time. Everyone was just uh, obviously just celebrating the the greatness and, and legend that Roger is. And um, win, lose, or draw that whole weekend didn't and matter. Personally, for him, it was just uh, it was an honor to be a part of it uh, for something I'll obviously never forget and uh and so so blessed to be a part of uh, honestly that's cool you said you said roger was ripping gin and tonics <laughs> yeah he's a, he's a gin and tonic guy didn't uh <laughs> didn't, didn't see that one coming but uh <laughs> yeah, yeah. roger okay hey, sure. th- tell me your uh best tennis memory oh man um, and, and yeah and, and maybe yeah i guess uh yeah is it is it is it more grand slam is it is it, is it davis cup uh, I think there's there's different. Uh, I think there's different. I don't know. I think there's different favorite memories. I think uh, I think Wimbledon with Vashik, the first one, is our first tournament ever playing together, and to win a Grand Slam and also Wimbledon on you know on top of that, oh, yeah. uh, which is obviously one of our, you know the most our historic crazy you know traditional tournaments we've ever had and um, or the most tradition of the tournament we have and and. Uh, so that was crazy, uh, very unexpected, crazy run we went on. Um, I mean that that probably started it all, you know, started all off. Uh, the Paris singles win for me, my biggest singles win, uh, you know, to date was was insane. Also a crazy run being I was down five one in the third set in my first round match there, uh, and was able to battle you know, back. Win. Don't be, uh, yeah, don't be, me. don't be counting you out. No, 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 we're we're here. Uh, <laughs> I anchored and I stayed and I was there. Love um, it. Love it. And uh, yeah, and then I mean, I, the Olympics honestly uh, was I, I I you know I love I love representing country. I love uh, wearing the red, white, and blue whenever I can uh, on the tennis court and 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 playing for playing for the flag. And um, so for me, being able to stand on the podium with Bethany and. And have the gold medal around your neck was uh, was insane. It's killing, uh, right? Very surreal. Um, um, and and honestly, Labor Cup this year was was up there as well. Just uh, like I said, everything involved with Rogers' last event and 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 then winning. Um, yeah, it's it's tough it's tough to say, but there's for different reasons. There's obviously a different couple. I think. Right. Right. Love that. Yeah. Um, tell us, tell us about that that angel of yours. How how did you meet her? Uh, how long have you guys been married? She is a princess, by the way, and my my wife loved meeting Laura. Uh, yeah, and and vice versa. Laura Laura loved meeting your wife, and I think they they've been in touch a little bit since, and they're oh, yeah. excited for the Nick Sock debut whenever that happens. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, we we uh, actually met on social media. Uh, uh, the old the ago. old social media. The old, the old millennial uh, way <laughs> social media. Um, we actually had hung out a couple times uh, prior to the final time that we kind of hung out and everything, uh, you know, moved forward. We, um, but yeah, end of end of end of eighteen, beginning of nineteen, we hung out for five, the third time. Uh, I guess third time's a charm, and and we honestly became inseparable. Uh, you know that time around and and um yeah it was it was crazy i think the you know we obviously spent we spent a good amount of time together in, in 19 i had uh i had thumb surgery that year so uh, i was sidelined for a while which um allowed me unfortunately and fortunately allowed me to spend a lot more time uh you know with her and and develop our relationship and then obviously COVID hit the next year which 
as people have said, uh, you spend a lot more time together with your uh, with your significant <laughs> other than, than normal time. So it was about two years, honestly, of nonstop um, hanging out, and and it was all uh, unbelievable. So by the end of nineteen, I had uh, I had proposed, and end of twenty twenty, uh, we got married um, down in Kiowa Island. Uh, unbelievable day, um, unforgettable day with everything, and um, and yeah, now we're. We're two, just two years in and, and uh, living the dream. Yeah, the American dream. Living the American dream. Love that, man. Put dogs in a house and you're good. You know, and, and maybe maybe kids in their future, you know. Yeah, at some point for sure. At some you point. You guys are going to make some, some beautiful babies, I'll tell you what. <laughs> no, I appreciate it. <laughs> um,. So hey, so I mean, you're a you're a dog at heart. You fight like there's no tomorrow. You know, I've, I've seen uh, you know, obviously played on the pickleball court with you, uh, but more so have seen you play, you know, tennis for the last you know uh, decade or so. Uh, I guess what's what's uh, what's what's something you can tell my viewers and listeners about like um, just having like belief in yourself when like the going gets tough, being able to like pull out that inner dog or what's like a model that you live by when like your back's against the wall and you can find it. Yeah, I think, uh, I think obviously, you know, at times it's, uh, it's, it's very tough. Um, you know, things are going bad. You, you kind of want to, you want to cash it in and, and you feel it <laughs> down and uh for sure it's it's easy to do and and we've all done it to a degree at some point but um i think at at uh yeah i think at some point you realize that and for me it was just playing playing for more than myself uh obviously right. when i think when you realize uh independent no matter what sport you play even if you're on a team sport um uh or individual sport whatever it is you're you know and for us it's easy to get caught up with yourself out there because you're the only one on the court playing and um but you know you look to the side and you you know at this point in my life you have a wife you, have, you know you have a coach you have all that you're playing for for more than yourself and and um and i think it's a lot easier to just kind of lay it out there leave it on the line um so and even if you think back to to the sacrifices my parents made or or anyone around you my childhood coach uh anyone who made it's it you you just think about that for a quick second i think it's pretty easy to to leave your blood, sweat, and tears out there, because um, I mean, what? Yeah, what's it? What's it all worth if if you're just gonna if you're gonna lay down when when the going gets tough, when yeah, when for sure. they've all spent time, money, uh, energy, whatever it is to to get you where you are. But um, yeah, I think it's yeah, I think it's it's t it's tough in the moment sometimes. But I, I I promise for anyone that that does watch or listen that. Uh, the feeling of, of leaving it out there and losing uh, feels a lot better than than making some excuses and rolling over and, and dying. Out. Yeah, and uh, and just letting letting it go downhill. So um, yeah, it's definitely always worth it to to leave it out there. And I bet more times than not, it actually turns out positive. Oh, love that man. Okay, hey, tell me uh, where can my fans uh, find you on social media? Uh, on Insta, I'm, I'm just Jack. Uh, Jack dot sock. Um, my Twitter is now, I think it's Jack sock 92. I got hacked a few years ago. Um, and never, never got it back. Um, the person who stole it was being very difficult. So, uh, that's dead and gone. And I think it's, I think it's Jack sock, <laughs> Jack sock 92. Now. Gone, so, yeah. <laughs> she, she gone. So. She, she gone. Uh, Jack, Jack there it is want to want to let you know that i appreciate you coming on buddy i'm i'm a true fan uh like what i had uh said in my uh said in my post of us uh taking a photo together was a fan now i'm like a true fan truly respect you um can't wait to kick it again and and uh and yeah. if we ever do end up on the court again uh uh i i cannot wait yeah no doubt no i appreciate you having me for sure um I've enjoyed watching you since I've been in the pickleball uh, the world and a fan. And uh, keep bringing the juice, keep bringing the energy. I can't wait to watch you uh, this next season, and uh, no doubt we'll be we'll be playing together soon and on the court. So uh, thanks, bro. Wish you the best of luck in twenty three, man. Yeah. Keep on, keep on pushing, uh, keep on pushing that ranking, working hard, yes, and, and uh, bring the juice, bring it. Yeah, always bring the you always bring the it. juice. Yeah, I appreciate you, man. Good luck this next season. All well. right, my man. Thank you. Take care. All right, man.